Okay, let's skate. Bad bitch wanna come my way. Going 90 when I'm on the highway. Can't go high without the high. Ay. Every day I wake up, smoke another ground. Ay, I don't give a fuck, no, another damn. I'm smoking. Hey, what's up? I am Jack with the Jack Has Wi-Fi YouTube channel, or should I say I am Jack Has Wi-Fi? That sounds kind of weird. So likely the reason you're here is because you either skate or more specifically you e-skate, which honestly is a really, really dangerous hobby and you're going to inevitably crash. If you haven't crashed yet, you're gonna crash. It's not if you're gonna crash, it's literally when you're gonna crash. You all right, Jack? Yeah. So the best thing you can do is just be prepared. So, I mean, obviously you wanna have a helmet. If you're not riding with a helmet, please get a helmet. Just, just any helmet at all. Just like at least have some sort of protection. But today what I'm gonna be showing off is these pads. So these are pads for your knees and for your arms. And these are a little more on the extra side. These are like extended pads that like protect like more than just your elbow but i mean even if you can't get these even like bare bones pads is like good enough and better than nothing but if you can take that extra step to get that little extra layer of protection i definitely do recommend it but what i have here for you today as i just said is these pads so this is from nobleman tech nobleman tech has really been upping the game in safety in the e-skate scene they just released a fireproof bag for e-skate and right after dropping that banger, they went ahead and dropped these just like out of nowhere. It was like that was their mixtape. And like now they just went on the Spotify and they're just like dropping bangers out of nowhere. And I want to go ahead and start off with design. So these have a carbon fiber design. And I got to say, it looks amazing. These are beautiful looking. They're black. They got like some yellow highlights on them. And these will go with pretty much every fit so these will match anything and pretty much everything you wear i was worried i was gonna have to wear shorts to go with these and i did wear shorts for my initial shoot with these but the next time i went out shooting b-roll with these i wore these over my pants and they fit perfectly and they actually looked pretty cool too so from like a design point of view these look awesome they have the nobleman emblem on top they got the nobleman logo on the knee pad and on the elbow pad if it's one thing nobleman always nails it's style they know how to make things look modern sleek and mean and i love it moving on to the tech side of things these are a one size fits all i am like a much smaller slimmer person and i had like no issue with these and I have seen these on people that are much bigger than I, and they seem to fit them just fine. So, um, yeah, don't worry, like, about size at all. They're really easy to strap in, really easy to take off. And also, like, I had no issue with, like, flexibility. I was still, like, really easily able to do things, like, my, like, one-legged turn. I was still, like, easily able to Peter Pan, like, to put one leg in front of the other and all that. They are they're really flexible, and I didn't feel limited wearing these at all. Even though, like, initially, like, looking at these, you might think that you might feel really limited and stiff, you don't. These are really, really well designed, really well made, really comfortable, and I really did enjoy these. I will say, there's one con. One con, it doesn't exactly, like, outweigh the pros, but, um, I, I got really hot, like, <laughs> really quickly. So, these will definitely benefit you, like, during the winter, if you ride during the winter. But, um... Yeah, if you're wearing shorts, then it really won't matter. But honestly, like when it comes to safety, I'd much rather be a little hotter than have road rash. So uh, think about that. So going into like convenience and real world usage, I will admit 
I haven't had much time to like use this over and over and over again. I've probably had like three session sessions using these. And although they're like really easy to strap in and like take off, one of like <laughs> the biggest things that's like even stopped me from like using a helmet is just like once I'm like out there, I just want to jump on my board and go. So I can see people like not wanting to put in the extra few minutes or not even few minutes because honestly it doesn't take that long but i can see people like over time not wanting to put in the few or like one extra minute to like strap on the extra pads and just like no longer using them anymore but i mean for your safety it's definitely worth it and i could see that becoming like a long-term issue with the users it's not the company's fault it's just like human nature but that would just be like my long-term theory i'm gonna try and stay consistent and like actually use these during all my sessions even though sometimes i might like want to be quick to jump on the board and just go without them because I, I will admit sometimes sometimes like if I'm in a parking lot and I'm not planning on driving on the street I will go without a helmet too just because I don't want to put it on so I can see how that could become a bigger issue with wanting to take the few or like one extra minute to put the pads on because you know screw human nature but I could see that being a long-term real-world usage issue it's not just any theory it's a long-term real world usage theory thanks for watching no i'm just kidding the video's not over yet <music> going on to my uh pricing and conclusion well not my pricing nobleman text pricing if you want the elbow pads they are currently priced at about 130 knee pads are priced at 150 but you can get them together for 300 dollars but currently as of the time i'm recording this video they are on sale for 269 did I get that right? Yes, 269. So they are about $30 off. And if you use my discount code, you will get a little more off on that. I don't remember the exact amount, but it's a little more off. If you can save money, why not save money? Nobleman Tech did send me these pads, so I am grateful for that. And I also will uh, go ahead and disclose. I don't know if I used the right word there. I think disclose is the right word that there is obviously, even if subconsciously, a little bias there. Before these, I was using like some cheap pads I bought off Amazon, which honestly weren't really good. I had pads from like my hands. It was like a little arch right here, which made it impossible to hold a remote. So I never even used those. So, I mean, this is like jumping from like a, a horrible shit box to like a Mercedes Benz. So yeah <laughs> honestly um uh, speaking or trying to be as unbiased as possible the only like major issues i could point out aren't even issues with the company or like company or issues that they could really i guess deal with on their own there's a human nature issue you know we'll get lazy and we probably won't want to put in the extra minute to put these on after you know a few sessions after like the hype dies down and then there's like they are a little hot during the summer but that's because they have padding and stuff inside them to protect you the same way you know like any helmet would get hot if i was to recommend anything i think something that'd be really cool like going forward is if they had these available with like different colors so like if i wanted to get it with like different highlights other than yellow or like if i wanted a different i don't know if there was like some kind of different styling choices i think that'd be awesome my favorite color is yellow i mean not yellow purple so if there was like some way I could get purple on here, I would totally choose purple. But um, anyways, yeah, that's going to be all for me. This probably is like way too long of a video to talk about pads. So yeah, we're going to end it there. Deuces.